morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and what's up? Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, and welcome back to Sneakers and Handbags, the channel. <laughs> and to all of my existing subscribers and to all my new subscribers, hello, sit down, get a drink, get a snack, and welcome to this week's video. Ah, uh, I'm back with another condo for you guys to see that I saw. Um, this condo was viewed back on May 10th, and let me give you guys some particulars about this condo before I cut you loose to watch it. Um, I'm looking at it on my phone and I'll tell you why I'm looking at it on my phone in a little bit. This condo um, was going for $123,000. It was a two bedroom, two, uh, two bedroom, one bathroom condo, stainless steel appliances. It had a in unit washer and dryer so it ticked off all my most important things i wanted a 2-2 but it was a 2-1 we was cool with the 2-1 so no big deal um it was electric um let's see electric heating gas um let's see the kitchen was electric but the i'm sorry but the heating was gas that's what it was so um yeah so i'm guys gonna, gonna let you guys see the condo and without further ado here you go and when we get back i'll give you the pros and cons and if i put an offer in on it or if i did not as you walk into the condo it's a very large living room and dining room with um, hardwood floors so as you turn to your right you're going to see the hvac and hot water heater in the unit which is nice Next, you see the entryway coat closet with carpeting, I guess, from the bedrooms. I didn't understand that one. So as I'm walking, I'm walking towards the kitchen, but there's this cabinet just sitting, floating. Why? I don't know. And here's the kitchen. Kitchen's kind of small, but it's just me, so I didn't need a whole lot. Um, the appliances were really nice, all stainless steel the way I like it, and looks like it was all electric. Also, something else I really like. So as you walk out, you walk to the hall where the um, living quarters are. But first you turn to the left to a hall closet that could either go, which, which could be used as either a linen closet or maybe a pantry if you need a pantry. I think I would probably use it as a linen closet because I don't use get that much food next is the bathroom there i am right there taking the video and as you see the bathroom's pretty plain not a whole lot going for itself it has this weird dark cabinet above the toilet and then there's the tub and shower and the bathroom fixtures right there and then as i walk out i'm going to the first of the two bedrooms First bedroom has one single window, but a decent amount of light in there, which I thought was really nice um, for it to, you know, have one window. The room was pretty bright. There is the walk-in closet in that room with shelving. And as you look up in the closet, it's pretty high. So I could, um, if I need to stack some things up higher, I could do that. And next, as I walk out of there, Right here is the laundry where there's a stackable um, washer and dryer in unit. And next is the other bedroom, which was even brighter, I felt, because it had a lot more windows. That room had a ceiling fan, which was wonderful to find a bedroom with a overhead light, something you don't see very often. Next, there is the walk-in closet for this room. This, just like the other closet, is pretty tall, so I could stack and go even higher with storage, which is really nice. And both bedrooms were had really nice carpets in there. So, but this is the condo as a whole. Okay, and I'm back. All right, so as you guys saw, it was a two bedroom, one bathroom condo in a Central West End that I looked at, and um. It was a nice condo, I will admit. Nice open floor plan, hardwood floors, nice carpeting in both bedrooms. Bathroom, you know, it was, it was a decent sized condo. Kitchen was kind of small, but you know, I could still do the job that I need to do, which is cook, if and when I do cook, which I don't cook a lot. And, um, you know, it had all the good basic stuff. So those are the pros. Besides the area, which was in Central West End, um, 
I was very, you know, I think I was right along a bus line over there. Uh, yeah, I wasn't far from a bus line. I wasn't far from the trains. So everything, I was in a really, I was in a good area. So I wasn't, you know, I could still get around and get to, you know, wherever I needed to go, doctor's appointments, work, whatever. I was able to get to where I needed to go. Cons. <laughs> Y'all saw the first con when I walked in and you looked straight ahead to the left. It was that miscellaneous cabinet that was just sitting there and it was like why is this cabinet here it like made no sense it was like why I mean it, it did not make sense and it was a cabinet from the kitchen it had the same countertop on top of it it was a I guess part of the kitchen that extended into the dining space why I didn't know I didn't understand it I was like why is this here I didn't get it um, the bedrooms were kind of small to me. I thought the bedrooms were pretty small. It, it, it was a, a decent amount of light. Um, the bedrooms had a decent amount of light, but they weren't very big. The closets also weren't very big. Also, um, in the bathroom, I don't know if you guys didn't see it cause I didn't show it between the tub and the toilet. There was this little spot that um my realtor tiffany she like put her hand against it and p touched it because it looked like it was like spackled over and then painted over it was very soft so there had to have been some water damage that happened before but the wall was never fixed so that was a con um if i can freeze a picture and put it right here i don't know if y'all noticed on the washer and dryer um on the dryer i think that's the dryer at the top if you guys noticed there was a screwdriver sticking out of the on off switch why i didn't understand i did not understand at all why it was there i didn't get it i don't know so um it was a no for me. Um, I did not put an offer in. Heck, my family did not see this condo. I did not show it to them. I just, I was like, no, I am not about to put y'all through this. And here's the funny thing. The condo is still on Zillow. That is why I was looking at it on my phone. Here's the funny thing now. Like I said, the condo was for going for 123000 back when I looked at it in May. They did a price cut in, let's see, July to one hundred and twenty two five. Then they did another price cut in September of one twenty two six. Now the current price is still one twenty two six. They can't get this sucker off the market. Um, personally. I don't think they're going to just saying this is just my opinion. Um, like I said, I am not going to give the address of this place. I mean, I'm not bashing it, but it, whoever that would buy it, they would have to put some work in. Um, and I don't want personally, I personally did not want to walk into any condo putting in work, especially in my first condo. That's just me. I don't want to, um, I don't want to do anything but paint. That's it. And right now I'm being lazy and I haven't painted my current home, but it's mine and I can pay. And all I have to do is paint, paint that place. I mean, I was probably gonna have to do something about that wall and this miscellaneous cabinet that's sitting in the middle of the room. I was probably gonna have to move that and then probably have to deal with the floor up underneath. If it was, the floor wasn't complete. I was probably gonna have to put some work into it and I was not putting work into it. So as you all can tell, I did not put a, <laughs> I did not put an offer in on that place. Um, talk to me below if you guys saw other cons <laughs> about that place, but no, I was not gonna put an offer in on that. I would not put myself through it. There's no way. 
so but uh yeah that that's it about that condo shout well um i want to give special thanks at like i do in all the videos give special thanks to my realtor tiffany hamilton of hamilton realty my lender Derek jackson of um usa mortgage i almost forgot my family my sisters my mom my aunt um also that lunatic <laughs> y'all know who he is or, or uh schmuggy have to give props to her i i never thank her because she kept me she kept me from like going over the edge sometimes the cat y'all remember y'all know her y'all still see her on instagram uh let's see who else do i need to give love to um that's really it and like i said not a lot of people knew what was going on so uh that's really it i'm gonna get out of here um info uh tiffany's real estate uh her um website's gonna be and i'm pointing this way because my computer's over here uh, <laughs> Tiffany's website's gonna be below in the description box. If you guys like videos like this and you guys like series of videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Liking and subscribing are free. Don't forget to hit that bell notification be uh, button so you guys know when my videos are out on Sundays, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, also don't forget to go to my website and I, I just noticed I have not been plugging the website sne sneakers and handbags.net um, right now the site's down because um, I'm about to make some changes to the site so if you guys have any subjects you guys want me to write about on the site drop some of those here on YouTube below don't forget to talk to me here on YouTube below um, let me know what you guys are thinking about the series what else you guys want me to talk about when it comes to home ownership um just you know stuff like that let me know what you think just let me know and i'm gonna you know i will talk to you guys not a problem that's it i'm gonna get out of here i have uh something to do and right now i'm running 13 minutes because i it took me forever to start this video i don't know why so i'm gonna get out of here if you guys have any questions talk to me below here on youtube and i'm out uh love peace and lifestyle sneakers handbags new home ownership, makeup, and all that fun stuff. Bye.